Okay, so I'm making this for you, Omar, but it's it's very important. Once you start in with, I expect you to sit. It's it's just like with a kid. Now, now it's it's so clear what you want. And every single person that brings a dog here says it already knows how to sit. So, if you want one that sits, just reward it when it's sitting. Don't tell it to sit. And you have a better chance of getting the behavior mechanically the way you want it. If you said so, it goes into a nice, quick, flashy set. Yes. Instead of like these people that hit him with the collar, that Aaron Taylor. Oh. Oh, hi, Timothy. I'm making this for my He sent me a video. If he said, what was the video? Sit, sit, sit. You've got to forget about that. If you said the dog then concludes what they want is for me to sit. Yeah. It's such a simple behavior that if you really want that, just reward it when it occurs. The dog randomly sits all the time, probably. And what ends up happening is dogs say to themselves, yeah, here, here's what I got for you. Nothing too flashy. Oh, hi, Mandy. I'm willing oh, this German Shepherd that I got, Mandy. Yes, another one of Aaron's victims. If you said, what, what, what did they work on? Sit in place. <laughs> if you said, what about the recall? Oh, no, it takes off like a bat out of hell the second it gets a chance. Gone. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> I never say sit. I don't even use any words with this dog, but I can show you. All I have to do is reward this sit, and then that behaviors in my repertoire of behaviors that I've rewarded. That's what you have to say to yourself. Okay, what behaviors does this dog have that I've rewarded? Well, pretty much every behavior. <laughs> so if I can reward sit two, three, four, five times, we're, we're not talking about dog rocket science here. <laughs> Am I wrong? We're, we're not talking dog riot, rocket science. So, and we're going to need it to do a lot more than sit. So I usually just start it on the platform and it's going to be real flashy and it's going to go into it real fast. And that's what I want. If you say, no, I like to say sit and then have a pause and then have it do it. I'd say, ay, 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 ay. So you already, you need to get one of these things, Omar. I'm sure they have Zumba in Egypt. <laughs> so just getting on there is a behavior. I like everything to be real fast. He taps his feet. It's like musical chairs. I'm saying, <laughs> race ya. So he's already, because I'm acting, <laughs> so there's my sit. I don't even have to say sit. I like saying sit. I don't like saying anything. But it's going to be mechanical. It's going to have to do with mechanics. You could easily throw the word sit in there later. <laughs> yes. If there's a behavior, I can give it a name. So whatever the behavior is, all I'd have to do, I could trick anybody and say twirl, twirl, twirl. Go over your sit. Make it look like it was, you know, doing it because of the verbiage. This is not just not how they think. She said, what's that? Dave boarding up his windows. No, it must be him unboarding his windows. <laughs> so I look over there first. And the second the dog sits, I give it to him. 
said, I don't like that kind of handbrake turn and all this stuff. Hey, you're not gonna like this training. You're not gonna like this training because that's what you're going for in here in case of any backups. In case I need it as a backup. That's what I tell people. That because she had to bring the dog here. And, you know, I said her neighbor was gonna watch it. I said, I will help the neighbor. You know, if something happens, she can bring it over here. I don't know why she can do it. I mean, I would tell her to do it, though. I don't even remember why she wouldn't do it, but she was always bringing it up. I said, I'm sure it'll be fine. I guess I don't trust him or something. I don't know. I don't even remember. I don't think it was very bizarre, though. She would be, like, mad at me because she had to bring it here, but then... a hard dog to watch here. It didn't really do anything. It just, it was so old, it just sat in his crate. I mean, if you said, why didn't you want to watch it? I didn't want it to die here. It was like 14. I wanted it to die at the neighbor's house. I don't remember now. That's all coming back to me. The neighbor would cook for the dog and stuff. But I, I mean, <laughs> if you said that was being selfish, it wasn't. I mean, it didn't do anything though. It just sat there. If you know, if someone did have to watch the dog, it just sat in its bed. I mean, it didn't do anything. Well, they get to a certain point. I, mean, I try to explain to people. They get to a certain point. They just, they just sit there. He's trying to study me for every little clue. What am I going to do next? If you said what happened with the dog, it did die. He had to have all these pills and stuff. Oh, it was a mess. It was a mess. Anyway, you know, I do tell people they get to a certain point. I usually tell people like the first two years, you should bring them. Then after that, they should be fine. If you said, are they? No, not necessarily. Oh my God, I got a kill. I just remind me. I have to call Connie. See what happened with the surgery. If you said, you're thinking, no, I'm 